Base 10 blocks can be used in multiple ways, including addition, subtraction, comparisons, and so much more. Before we jump into those, it's important to start by showing the value of a single number so your students or kids can clearly see what each digit represents. In this video, we're going to focus on how to use base 10 blocks to show and explain a single number in different ways. Let's start with an example. Say we want to show the number 136. We can grab one flat to represent 100, three rods to represent 30, and six units to represent six. When we line them up, we've built 136. In video one of this base 10 block series, we talked about how each block shows a relationship to the next place value. 10 units make a rod and 10 rods make a flat. Here, building the number gives students a concrete way to see that structure. It turns an abstract symbol like 136 into something they can hold, arrange, and work with. Building numbers help students understand what each digit in a number represents, how the digits fit together to form the whole number, and how numbers can be composed and decomposed into parts. This hands-on step especially helps visual learners and students who learn best by doing. It makes numbers feel more approachable and more like something they can explore. Once we've built the number, we can connect it to the different ways it can be written standard form, word form, and expanded form. Matching the blocks to each form helps students make the connection between what they see, what they read, and what they write. It reinforces the idea that all three are different ways to describe the same quantity. And seeing and using multiple representations help build students' conceptual understanding of numbers and their values. Base 10 blocks also help students notice that numbers are built from groups of 10. 10 ones make a 10, 10 tens make a 100, and 10 hundreds make a 1,000. This grouping can work in reverse too, breaking a larger block into smaller ones. Once students see numbers as groups of 10, they can also see that there's more than one way to show the same number. For example, 43 can be four tens and three ones, three tens and 13 ones, or 43 ones. This flexibility is closely connected to regrouping, which we use when adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Regrouping here means exchanging one type of block for an equal value of another. 10 ones for 110, 10 10s for 100, or the reverse, breaking 100 into 10 tens. This hands-on regrouping builds understanding of how place value changes when adding, subtracting, or reorganizing numbers. You can keep building numbers engaging with small challenges such as show 427 without using any rods, build 365 without using any flats, or build a number using only flats and units. Along with challenges, you can ask guiding questions that encourage deeper reasoning such as, how many different ways can you represent this number? How do these blocks show the value of your number? Or how would you explain your model to someone else? These prompts can help students share their thinking more clearly, which strengthens understanding. The same ideas here work for decimals too, like tenths and hundredths, but we'll explore that in a later video focused on place value with decimals. Base 10 blocks aren't just for solving problems. They're a tool used for seeing, building, and understanding numbers. In the next video, we'll explore 10 ways to use base 10 blocks in math that involve more than one number. I'll see you there.